are partnerships so important? You know, Alicia, we were talking before we started recording about the idea that in your role, all these different ecosystem partners that Meraki collaborates with and that build on top of the Meraki platform, it's really cool, they're important. I, I was in, in sales as an SE before, and so I had a lot of experience seeing those conversations happen. But what I really wanted to ask you is, why? Like, Cisco as a company, I think most people know that we, you buy through a partner, you have a partner that helps you with everything. And Meraki is no different, and yeah. yet Meraki also has this massive portfolio of uh, partnerships where these organizations are building on top of the Meraki platform. Why is that such an important thing? It's a very important thing because the reason one invests in a, in a platform is they want to unlock the power of building on top of a platform, right? The platform is the foundation and then it's all about what you can do on top. The technology partners build applications on top of the platform. They power their applications leveraging API. They leverage all the data that we have from our seven product sets. So um, what I would say to that is like with the platform, it's all about uh, maximizing what's built on top versus trying to be everything to everybody. That's fair. Does that make sense? Oh, 100%. And you know, it's, it's, I think it's the perfect, there's like the perfect statement to make, especially being here in the DevNet zone at yep. Cisco Live, because we're all about programmability. We're all about, as my former boss used to say, mm -hmm. making the art of the possible real. Yep. Like what, and it's, I think there's two parts here we could go down. The one I want to specifically ask about, and I, I love this, is that, at, you mentioned the word platform. Yes. Like, yes, you can buy Meraki products, and you can mm -hmm. install them, and you can use the dashboard and like it as it is, and you can also get beyond that and let some other folks show you, like, here's so much more you can do for creative problems you might have as a business. How, um, how would you say that the various partners that you and your organization work with to, or to enable them to build these things, how are they, how are they going about that? Like, how are they coming up with these ideas to come up with these creative solutions that they deliver to customers? Well, they actually live in the space in which they serve. So they're going to have more industry expertise than we will and technical expertise in the spaces. So we have technology partners that are specifically doing things in manufacturing. So they know the ins and outs of manufacturing. We don't know the ins and outs of manufacturing. We know the ins and outs of being the best platform on the planet. We leave it to the technology partners to use their expertise to deliver and build these applications that solve unique challenges for an industry, for a line of business buyer, uh, for a segment. Uh, whether you want to go small or up market, it just really depends on where they live and then they, they built their purpose-built application for that space and they just tap into the data we provide from the platform. It's really cool. When we were yeah. in Amsterdam, I was lucky enough to meet a number of your ecosystem partners um, and I got, to, I got to interview a bunch of them um, in the media zone there and what I found so fascinating is exactly what you're describing is it's not just that they, they're in those industries and they know how to solve, they know the problems that those industries, those yep. verticals deal with. They were so passionate about it. And I find it really fascinating that of all the things that Cisco has done over the many years, Meraki specifically has been amazing at, going back to the word platform, at building a platform that an individual business or organization can work with to deploy a network and has become super attractive to these ecosystem partners who are like, no, no, that's what we want to build on top of. If anything else that's available, I want to go build something for that leverages Meraki. Why do you think that is? Why do technologies gravitate to the platform? Why do, why do they, yeah, to Meraki specifically yeah. to build those things on top of? Because we're the only platform that encapsulates both IT and IoT, and we have seven product lines that's, in, in, that's taking in all of this data, and it can be served up right into the platform, and that's what they tap into via APIs. So, you know, they're typically, without Meraki, they're cho they have to make choices, and they have to go, oh, I have to work with that vendor and that vendor and make all these different bespoke integrations to make right. their applications work. With Meraki, they just go, I just work with this one vendor, I build my application on top. We even have partners that they're exclusive to Meraki. If there were no Meraki, they have no business, and we have many of them, and the number is growing. Didn't know that, that's yes. wild. Yes, it's actually pretty exciting. It's like, a, it's like a, a breeding ground for entrepreneurship, if you will, so it's really, it's really cool to see that happen. That's, that is right, it's, it's so fascinating that, you know, being at Cisco Live, mm -hmm. and even when I was a network engineer, you think of an organization like Rocky, and you're like, oh, they do this, this is yep. the thing they do, and especially, now, I mean, we still have people here who come through the DevNet zone, and we focus on automation and programmability, like doing more with the, the programmable interfaces. Mm -hmm. And it's so fascinating how many people I still talk to who, through no fault of their own, still think of these things as, oh, you're a hardware vendor, you sell hardware that make my network work. Yep. And it, I don't put any blame on them for that. It's, yep. it's very hard when that's, when that's what you do to sometimes see outside of that. But I find it so interesting that Meraki has been able to cultivate this culture of, you can do more with us. You yes. can do more with what we have. And the fact that you just said there are partners out there that are only building on Meraki, mm -hmm. that's kind of mind blowing. Yeah, it's funny. I was actually brought into a technical call and uh, it was about uh, Meraki Wireless. And uh, so I get brought in, I'm thinking I'm going to talk like Wi-Fi 6, something like that. And 
uh, we ended up talking about how can the wireless access point help us with gym membership renewals? That has nothing to do with the, <laughs> <laughs> the feature specs that you typically talk about, right. but I'm like, oh, we can, we actually can help with that totally. uh, because we have uh, data that we capture in the platform that power applications that help uh, understand who's actually visiting the gym and if they've come regularly and what kind of offers yeah. they can uh, they can offer, serve up to them or maybe even engage them. Hey, you haven't been here in a while. Why not? You know. So, uh, but yeah, we ended up having a uh, decision criteria conversation around Wi-Fi access. Uh, but it was really had nothing to do with any of the specs you see on a feature set. Okay, see that is that is my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite part about this, and not to evangelize too much about yeah. the idea of like DevNet and learning how to be how to work with programmable interfaces like APIs. Yep. What I th this is like another sort of like people have probably heard me say these things before, but sort of a soapbox I like to get onto, yeah. which is that when you are in this field, whether mm -hmm. it's call yourself a network engineer, system admin, it doesn't matter. Your benefit to a company, to where, wherever you work, isn't that you know how to type in a CLI, mm -hmm. it's that you know how to use these different technologies as tools to solve complex problems. That's what makes them really powerful. And I find it so interesting, because I've, I've had people say, well, it's just a, it's just a GUI, you know, a command line's powerful. I'm like, they're all powerful in their mm -hmm. own way, but at the end of the day, Having an API, when you, I've had folks say to me that like having an API, well, yeah, but that's like, now I have to go make it my own. You didn't put it in your product, I have to go make it. It's like, kind of missing the point here. The point yeah. is, we've given you enough that most people can use the dash, in the case of Meraki, can use the dashboard and be really successful. And, it's, yep. not a, it's not a yes but, it's a, mm -hmm. yes, it's a yes and. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do even more, it's like, it doesn't make sense to put all of that into a single GUI. Yep. We did that on purpose. Yep. We built an API, as an API first, it's like an API as a product, yep. we built the APIs or the multiple API endpoints to be able to enable you to say, what else do you need to be able to do that we can't envision and put into a GUI? You can go do that for yourself. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And no different than the iPhone, right? They didn't go out and try and build every application on the planet. They leveraged the best technology partners who specialized in, uh, you know, Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a one. Or Pokemon Go, because what else are you going to do walking around downtown San Francisco all day long? <laughs> yeah, and, and we're particularly really excited about our technology partners. And, and one of the reasons we're very excited about them is their IDC released this really cool stat, and uh, by 2026, 70% uh, of the top 2,000 companies are going to te choose technology partners as their top vendor of choice. And they want to leverage their industry knowledge, their technical expertise, and so we have all these technology partners building these applications, so Rocky is poised for this movement. That's fantastic. Yep. Alicia, thank you so much for being here. This is really awesome. Oh, thank you for having me.